Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you in this video how to pick up and knit stitches on a knitted garment. As you can see on this one that I have here, I've knitted this piece from the right to the left on straight needles and then I slipped the first stitch of every row, the front row and the back row. I just slipped those stitches and then I picked up and knitted these ribbing stitches here on both sides of the neck warmer. So I'll be showing you how to do that in this video. Okay, so we've got our finished piece here. And if you take a look, these are the stitches that we slipped. And this would be the stitches that we slipped on the wrong side of our work. And if you take a look here, you can see we've got these little V's. Each slipped stitch looks like a little V. And they're all interlocked down the scarf. See right there? And instead of actually working into one or both of these bars of these stitches, we're actually going to be working in the stitches that were worked just before the slipped ones. And if you roll your work here to the side, you can see what I'm talking about. We have these little bumps. If you take a look here, right there is a bump, right there is a bump, and right there is a bump, and it goes all the way down. And that is just to the, I guess you could say left, or to the back of these slipped stitches. And that's what we're going to be picking up and knitting from. Okay, so on this particular neck warmer, I've worked straight up and I've bound off my work this ribbing here and I've got a bind off loop here hanging off the end on my needle and that's actually going to be incorporated with the stitches that I pick up and knit from behind these slip stitches and normally what you'll do with picking up and knitting you don't always want to pick up just every single bump behind every single slip stitch sometimes you want to do the math first and figure out what gauge you're getting as far as stitches to rows. So in this instance, I've already figured out my gauge for this neck warmer and I've decided that based on the number of bumps behind my slip stitches across the end of this neck warmer, I want to pick up three stitches for every four rows as it were because if we look at our work here, you can see these go in rows. So we're picking up a bump out of each row of the neck warmer. So I've figured that out already, figured out the math, and decided that I need to pick up three stitches over every four rows. So in order to do that, I would just simply pick up and knit a stitch in one bump, the second bump, the third bump, and then I would skip the fourth one. And then I would just continue on one, two, three, skip the fourth, and so on. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is select the needles that are uh, the same size that we use to knit our garment or whatever gauge that you're going to be knitting in once you pick up those stitches. So in this case I'm using size 10 and a half needles and I decided to use long circulars in this case because of the length of my garment and the stitches that I'm picking up. I'm knitting on size 10 and a half with a bulky yarn and these, I think, are just 40 inch uh, interchangeable needles. But this is what we're going to be using to pick up our stitches. And as I mentioned, we have that bind off loop from binding off our ribbing. So I'm just going to pick that bind off loop up with my circular needle. Okay, and as I said, we're going to be knitting, picking up and knitting three stitches, skipping the fourth, and then continuing on across the slipped stitches here. So I will include my bind off loop as the first stitch and then I'm going to turn my work here so you can see the stitch that was worked before the slipped one or after as it were and it's right here. So we're simply going to insert our needle, make sure you're not splitting the yarn or any of the plies of the yarn and then you're simply going to yarn over your needle tighten it a little bit and pull up a loop just like that. So we've picked up one but we have two on our needle so we're going to pick up a third stitch or pick up a second stitch for three stitches 
So there's the next loop from the next stitch, yarn over, we'll tighten up that yarn and pull up a loop. So there we have three stitches and if you can see here, it leaves our nice pretty slipped stitch exposed. We'll have a nice pretty edge here in front of our picked up stitches. Okay, so we've picked up three and I said, as I said before, we're going to skip the fourth and go into the next loop or the next stitch as it were. Again, yarn over and pull up a loop. So there's one. And we're going to go in the next one. Two. Go into the very next one. Make sure we're not splitting the yarn. And that's three. Okay, so you can check back at your work and make sure you picked up three, skipped one, picked up three, and then again we're going to skip the fourth, which is right here, and go into the next one. So once you get the hang of how to find these little stitches behind your slip stitches, this can go pretty fast. But every once in a while, I'll stop and I'll make sure that everything is looking the way it should. And that looks really nice. You have that nice slipped, slip stitch chain going. Because sometimes it's easy, instead of picking up this stitch, it's easy to roll it a little too far and pick up the next stitch, like the third stitch in your row. And if you do that, you're going to get a totally different look. So that is how we pick up and knit from slip stitches. And then of course after you've picked up all your stitches, you'll turn your work, you'll work the other direction and do whatever pattern you're doing for the particular garment that you're working on. So I hope this helps you guys. Thanks for watching.